everyone, I'm Nitin and today in this PSLE 2019 Paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 15. In my channel, I am to help all of you master all those concepts out there, okay? So let's jump straight into question 15. Okay, so this is actually question 15 and this question is testing us on volume and our visualization skills. Okay, and this question was quite a famous question for the year 2019 as well. Let's read the question for part A first. Jack Cat has eight identical large cubes and some identical small cubes. Okay, so here are the two large cubes and the six small cubes. Okay, so this is just the first layer of, okay. He packs all the cubes tightly into a rectangular box such that the cubes of the same size are stacked on top of each other. The box is filled to its brim. Exactly. Okay. So, if you to its brim, that means that all the cubes are filled until this portion. Okay. That means that there was no like leftover over here. So, that this, imagine like this is the leftover, right? There's actually none of it. There's no leftover space. It's filled to the brim. Okay. So they are telling us the figure shows the first layer of the cubes packed right into the box. Just like I said, the first layer is here. So this side is the large cubes and this side is the small cubes. Okay. For part A, they are asking us how many small cubes does Jack have? Okay, let's take a look at the question and highlight the key information. He has eight identical and some identical small cubes. Okay. Packs all the cubes tightly into a rectangular box such that the cubes of the same size are stacked on top of each other. It's filled to its brim exactly. The figure below shows the first layer of cubes packed into the box. How many small cubes does Jack have? Okay, so first I'm going to draw the top view. So this is the top view. This is the two large squares and these are the six small squares. Okay, after that I'm going to draw the front view of it. Do you know what's the front view? So the front view is basically this. Okay. So that's when I add another square, when I add another cube, right, will be here. So this is what I mean by the front view. Okay, so that's another cube, right? After that, there will be more of the smaller cubes. Okay, then it just goes like that. Okay. So this is what I mean, something like that, okay? But I'm going to draw it in the front view version. So it's just going to be the square, two squares, like this. So this is the front view of the, after it's filled until the brim. Do you know why? Because there's eight cubes, right? If there's two here, when you take eight divided by two, it will give you four, right? So actually, each, each column should be have four. So four here and four there. So that is why when I look at the front view, here is 4. Okay, so when you draw the front view, you could also draw the this squares as well. Because when there's two cubes, we, we know that there's six squares. So when there's one cube, we do not know how many squares exactly there are. We do know that there's two squares here, but when there's two cubes, when there's two squares here, or two cubes, there's actually six of the smaller squares or smaller cubes. That is why we can draw it like this. So there's actually um, six here and six here and there's four of them. So actually four layers, right? Four layers of the big cubes is actually equal to one, two, three, four, five, six. Six layers of the small cubes. I'm just going to take a look at these, okay? These only. Because this is the important row. It tells us the number of squares in each of them okay so just like that so for part a the the two layers of the big cubes over here is equal to three layers of the small cubes okay so when there's two that's actually three layers so in order to find the number of cubes right we need to know the total layer so that's actually four layers right so in order to find four layers it's actually six layers of small cubes and we know that in each layer right in the first layer, each layer, right, there's actually six cubes. See, this is the first layer, right, there's actually six cubes. 
So in order to find the number of cubes, the, the number of small cubes Jack has is basically 6 times 6 layers. So 6 times 6. So one layer of small cubes is 6, right? So 6 times 6 is equal to 36. And this is the number of small cubes Jack has. So 36 is the answer for part A. Now let's move on to part B. Let's read the question first. Okay, so the volume of a box, of the box, this box, is 400. 4032 cm cube. The total volume of 8 large cubes is 3 7 of the volume of the box. What is the length of one edge of the small cube? Okay, so let me highlight the key information. The volume of the box is 432 cm cube. The total volume of 8 large is 3 7 of the volume of the box. What is the length of one edge of the small cube? Okay, so in order to do this, we need to so the part A was the harder part. Part B is really simple. So if 8 large boxes are 3 over 7, that means that the small, the smaller ones should be 4 over 7, right? Because 7 over 7 minus 3 over 7 is 4 over 7. Okay, so we know that now. After that, I'm going to take the volume of the small cubes is 4 over 7 times 4032. Because the whole box is 4032. So I can find the volume of the small the 36 small cubes. So it is 2,304 cm cube. So like I said, the 36 small cubes is 2,304 cm cube. So I hope you understand this. After this, I can move on to finding 1 cubes. So 1 small cube is 200, uh, 2,304 divided by 36. It will give us 64 cm cube. And to find the length of 1 edge of the small cube, we need a cube root 64 and it will give us 4. Okay, for some of you, if you do not know what is cube root, right? Cube root is basically done for squares, okay? S cubes. Cubes are basically um, squares, okay? Which is in a 3D form. Okay, let me draw a nicer one. So, a cube is basically like this. So, that's a square. And then, there's another square here with line just connected okay so this is a cube okay but um sorry for the thickness it's supposed to be the same thickness okay maybe i can draw it here around the same lah okay so if this is a cube right in order to find the the edge of it the edge of it right and we know that this is the area 64 cm cube. So, in order to find the each length, right, or the edge, right, it's actually cube rooting. Just like square root, you just need a cube root 64 and it will give you 4 cm. And this is the answer. Just like that. Okay, so I hope you understand what is cube rooting. So, it's only done for cubes and square rooting is only done for squares. Okay. So the answer is 4cm for part B. Okay, so I hope you understood my explanation for this question, question 15. And thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!